Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at 3D printing a tripod mount that will allow you to mount your phone to a tripod. Now this uh, state set is for a Galaxy S4 and I actually printed one of these out a while ago but I lost the thing or managed to lose it. So uh, a couple of things to note, uh, the parts don't fit together perfectly. Uh, you have to do some scaling on them unfortunately, uh, which involves, uh, and I'll show you actually, but Anyway, I actually have a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, but it works fine for that as well. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't know. I think it'll. I think it tells you how big of a phone you can put in here. But anyhow, yeah, 12 millimeters thick and 60 to 87 millimeters wide. That's your uh, your dimensions. So this is just off a of Thingiverse. I'm going to print this out, and we'll see how well it turns out. I'll put the uh, link for this in the description. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and open up Repetier Host and show you the kind of scaling factors that you're going to have to use. All right, so I've just added all the parts that you're going to need for this. Now, I created this nut down here, which is the quarter 20 tripod type screw nut. Uh, I made that with a customizer on Thingiverse. Now, if you just have a quarter 20 nut that's metal, that'll work fine. It might actually work better. But uh, the plastic nut actually works surprisingly well. So anyhow... All right, so first off, this top piece here, I'm going to go into the scale. I'm going to scale it down to 0.95. So that's going to make it a little bit smaller because last time I printed out one of these, I seem to remember that it didn't really fit too well into here. And also the other thing was the screw was too tight. So what I'm going to do to that is come in here, scale it. I'm going to unlock this and only in the X and Y axis am I going to scale this to 0.95. So anyhow... Uh, that's what that will use. I'll print this at two or 0.2 millimeter layer height as I usually do, and we'll see how it comes out. So these are the parts as they are now. So uh, these have been modified slightly. This piece was sanded down so that it just barely fits into here. Uh, hopefully this will go in without uh, needing to glue it. Anyway, I've got to get a little bit of glue down in here and this nut, and the nut actually works really well by the way. Surprisingly for a plastic nut, just threads right on there, no problems. So anyhow, I got to get a bit of glue down on the bottom of it so I can actually put the nut in. And then we can see where we go from there. Oh yeah, I don't know if I said this or not, but on this piece I had to drill out this hole to a 5 16 inch diameter to get this thing to go in and actually spin nicely. All right, so hopefully I can get this nut down in there. Actually, that landed perfectly. Feels like it's stuck down into glue, so we're just gonna leave that part. Now the hope is I can get this to not fall in like that. But the hope is to get this guy lined up and just shoved down in there basically without having to glue it. All right, so I've gotten this thing finished. I've got the uh, that little piece on the inside that this screw goes into, I did have to glue that down in there. Uh, so basically I put a little bit of glue around it and then I shoved it down with, the, with this piece. 
And then I put a little bit more glue around it, just reaching down in there with the super glue bottle, trying to, you know, not to uh, get it into the threads. But anyhow, this thing goes together pretty easily. You just have that piece down in there. You also have to glue the nut into the base of this. And then this just goes down and this goes in and screws down onto that. Now I think the, uh, the thing of his listing, if you will, said that this was meant for a Galaxy S4 with a case on it. So this is actually a Galaxy S7 Edge with no case on it. I should go and get the case actually. It'd probably fit in here better because you'll see that there's quite a bit of a gap between where this is and where it's, uh, or where the phone is and where this is supposed to be holding on to it. But anyhow, then we should be able to take this and screw a tripod onto it. Now this little tripod is not really the most stable thing, but we're gonna try it. And we have something like that. And we can open up the camera. And we've got ourselves a little tripod cell phone stand. So anyhow, uh, obviously this will just screw onto any standard tripod. But that's what that looks like. So that's how you 3D print your own, uh, I think they call these things glyphs, like the name brand of the uh, ones that you can just go out and buy. But anyhow, it actually works fairly well. So uh, anyhow, that's it for this episode of 3D Printed, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.